Good evening. First, we begin with the expanding financial crisis. Wall Street woes rocking Main Street, and now the dramatic plan from Pennsylvania Avenue. The president is asking Congress for $700 billion to rescue private mortgage bankers. And is explaining why he's nationalizing financial institutions. Not protect taxpayer transitions. And Congress is working all weekend on the proposal. Legislators promise to have a rescue plan on the president's desk by Friday. A cancer-causing chemical has some New Jersey residents running scared. The danger comes from chromium secretly seeping into their homes. The EP the cause of their daughter's health problems. I've been sick so many times. Every single season, I've gotten, like, strep throat, bronchitis, and I think it could have been an effect on it. Now the Yankees' final weekend at the house that Ruth built. Today, the team played their last day game. Soon, there will be only memories. As John Huddy found out, some fans were trying for, for more concrete mementos, including the concrete from the stadium. It is National Sickle Cell Awareness Month. Survivors and their families join forces in Central Park. Taking steps to beat the blood disorder at the 10th Annual Sickle Cell Thalassemia Patients Network Walk. Happy birthday, Montclair State. The university is 100 years old this month. Good evening, Brenda. No doubt this economic crisis is creating a wave of anxiety throughout the country and here at home, with many worrying about how much longer they will be able to make ends meet. But while her job is to give advice to others, right now, she's the one in need. And Dr. Ron Handelman, a psychologist at the Institute for Change in Montclair, says that anxiety is having a trickle-down effect on families. Now, other experts we spoke with tonight say the financial crisis is hitting other states harder, like in California and Florida, where home floor foreclosures are at an all-time high. Residents are hoping for a market rebound before that happens here. Harry.